Gene uh, finding, uh, especially in prokaryotes, uh, starts with uh, finding ORFs are open reading frames. So let's see how we can define these open reading frames. Uh, ORF or open reading frame is a sequence of DNA, uh, starts with ATG and then it ends up with uh, uh, one of the three stop codons like TAA, TAG and TGA. We also call them as termination codons. Here in this slide, uh, we see the uh, ORF in a comparison between a prokaryote and eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotes may be a bacteria or some related organisms. Uh, the rest of the organisms mostly uh, they are classified in eukaryotes. So, if you look into a prokaryotic situation, we have different genes which are separated by intergenic regions and these ORF can be spanning these two genes. Whereas in case of the eukaryotes, we have just only one gene. We have exon 1 and 2, whereas the ORF spans across these different exons. So in the top part, we have longer ORF and at the bottom part, we have relatively shorter as compared to the genome size and those shorter ORF uh, which are actually uh, spanning different exons. ORF provide important evidence in gene finding. Uh, generally, we go for longer ORFs, um, but they are preferred, but uh, that, uh, these uh, ORF may not uh, actually translate into the proteins. Okay, so depending upon different uh, start positions, uh, we can define uh, different ORFs. So, uh, if, if we want to go for those triplet codons, uh, we can start with any nucleotide. So, in this way, uh, we have three different possibilities uh, for uh, one of the strands. And since we have two strands in the DNA, so total we can have six uh, different, we call them reading frames or reading registers. So three on uh, actually the forward strand, which runs five to three. When you write a DNA strand, you write it five to three direction so that we can call it as forward strand. And then there is a complementary strand. So that is, it runs actually three to five. So here is how it looks like. So there are six frame uh, translation. Uh, in this picture, we see that uh, we have a top strand, which is the forward strand. So it starts five and ends at three prime end. The complementary runs uh, anti-parallel fashion. So it starts with three ends with five. So how can uh, we can get these uh, reading frames out of it? So we can start with position number one on the first strand. Uh, we label it as plus one. So in this way, we can start with A and we can have triplet codons like ATG, GTT, TGG, and so on. In the second strand, or, or the second possibility is we can start from position number two. So in this case, we give it a number as plus two. So this frame goes like TGG, TTT, and so on. But sometime, um, it can be starting from position number three. So it can be GGT, TTG, and so on. What if we start again from position number four? It's no more different than position number one. So there are uh, these three possibilities of finding those uh, uh, reading frames on the top strand. Same way we can do the same thing from the bottom strand. And since this transcription starts from five prime to three prime end, so we will focus on this lower right corner. So that position we can call it as a minus one frame or we can call minus one register. So it goes like AAT, TGT, TTT and so on. Same way we have minus two starting from position number two and we can also have minus three starting from position number uh, three. So total there are six possibilities. If you get just a sequence of DNA, we normally write it as five to three prime end. But whenever we are doing gene finding, we take the reverse complement of it and then we get all these six frames. So we try to get those ORF in all six frames. So that's we, uh, we will observe in the gene finders also. So, so far in this section, what we have seen here is that ORF is a sequence of DNA and that starts with ATG and it ends with uh, any of the stop codons. And there are six reading registers as far as uh, finding those uh, ORFs are concerned from a sequence.